Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 45. Class 45. Let's go! Beginner. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome back, beginner students. Yes, to another day. Another day, another class. Here we are. Aquí estamos. Here we are in class number 45. Empezando con un repaso de lo que hemos visto en el último clase, in the last class, we were practicing with time. Es la una. It's one o'clock. With the analog clock, it's one o'clock. And with the digital clock, it's one. It's five past one. La una y cinco. It's five past one. Five past. Cinco minutos después de la hora. Digamos así en inglés. Five past one. It's one o oh, five. Because we say o oh, instead of zero. With the clock. Instead of zero, we say O. Oh. It's, it's ten past one. And with the digital clock, it's one ten. Simply reading the time off the clock. Okay, I will read the digital time, and you will tell me the analog time, okay? In voz alta, en casa. It's one fifteen. It's quarter past one. Quarter past one. It's one twenty. It's twenty past one. It's one twenty-five. It's twenty-five past one. It's one thirty. It's half past one. Half past. Half past one. It's half past one. It's one thirty. It's half past one. It's one thirty. Same. It's one thirty-five. It's twenty-five to two. Twenty-five to two. Right? In 25 minutes, it will be 2 o'clock. So we say, it's 25 to 2. It's 1.40. It's 20 to 2. It's 1.45. It's quarter to 2. In a quarter of an hour, it will be 2 o'clock. So we say, it's quarter to 2. It's 1.50. It's 10 to 2. It's 1.55. It's 5 to 2. Very good. All right, muy bien. Okay, now we can start with some dates, practicing dates. We can do this with a little dictation of dates, kind of like the number dictation, but now we're going to dictate and pronounce the numbers back. Maybe, if I'm lucky, because today I'm alone, I'm alone in the studio Maybe maybe our technician Nacho will help out. Do you do you want to participate, Nacho? Yes. Okay, great, great. Nacho's go so if you have a pen and paper, I will read some dates, some years. So we're practicing the idea of nineteen hundred with, with nineteen hundred. So when we have dates that end in double zero, we say hundred. And when we have an a zero in the date, we say O. Oh, Instead of zero. Okay? Nacho's ready. And at home. Are you ready? Are you, are you sure? Okay. The first date. 1904. And the second date. 2009. And the third. 1603. And the fourth. 1800. And finally, 1902. All right. Did you get them all, Nacho? I think so. <laughs> he thinks so. Nacho's very good at this. Was it easy, Nacho? Well, okay. yes. <laughs> okay, all right. So what was the first date, the first year? 1904. Correct, 1904. At home, did you get that? Good, 1904, okay. 2009. Very good. Notice he said and, 2009, right, 2009, correct. 
1603. Correct. 1603. Yes. 1800. 1800. Exactly. 1800. Good. And then, and the last one. 1902. 1902. Perfect. Nacho is five for five. Can we try five more, Nacho? All right. Nacho is ready for five more. Okay. 1700. 2001 and one, two thousand and three, seventeen o two, eighteen hundred. Un poco más rápido esta vez, eh? <laughs> See if I can trick him. No, did you get them? Yes. Okay, he got them. All right, and the first one, seventeen hundred. Great. 2001 very good 2001 very good 2003 2003 yes 1702 perfect and the last one will he go 10 for 10 ladies and gentlemen 1800 yes he's got it 1800 fantastic 1800 now did you did you do as well as nacho at home did you get them all right i hope so thank you nacho thanks Good job. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Word of the day. All right. Yes, it's time now for our word of the day. The word of the day today is llevar. In español, llevar, pero en inglés, it's a verb, the verb to carry, to carry, llevar. I always carry my keys with me. I always carry my keys. I'm I'm carrying some heavy books. I'm carrying some heavy books. I'm carrying a heavy load. I have a, estoy cargado con libros. Yo creo que se puede se puede decir eso, no? Nacho, estoy cargado con 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 libros. It means I'm I'm carrying books. I have a heavy load, and I'm carrying books. Yes. Now we also say, I will tell you this as something additional. Uh, to carry a product uh, is to have a product available for sale. Uh, have a product disponible in la, in, la, in la tienda. El Corte Inglés carries a lot of products. We can say, trabajamos ese producto. We carry it. We don't say we work the product, but we carry the product. We don't, we don't carry it anymore. We used to carry it, but we don't carry it anymore. To carry a product. Very good. To carry a product. Or carry simply as llevar. Okay? Very good. All right, let's move on now to talk about some salutations. Salutations. Hello. Hello. Right? Hi. Hola. So we have some different ways, and it's very good to... Familiarize yourself with different salutations, because my students very often it's it, well it's easy to stay limited to a few salutations and keep using the same ones over and over because they're correct. It's okay to say hello, but it's good to develop a variety of things to say. Okay, hi, hi is very common instead of hello, hi. Used to be more common in the United States, but now it's it's said everywhere. Mm. Buenos dias, good morning. Buenas tardes, good afternoon. Buenas tardes, good evening. Okay, it's it's interesting. In the Vaughn Review, it says, "Algunos dicen que afternoon cambia a evening." Cuando cuando se cambia afternoon to evening? Well, it's a bit subjective. Algunos dicen que afternoon cambia evening con el primer whisky. No, so se puede decir, no? <laughs> With the first whisky, it becomes evening. It's not the afternoon; it's the evening because I've had my first whisky. Yes. Buenas noches. Okay. Que es una despedida. Buenas noches. But we say good night. But we, so we never say we never say good night when we meet someone at night. We only say it when we're saying goodbye. Adios, goodbye, bye, or my favorite on the radio, bye bye. At the end, bye bye. Bye bye is um, 
is good for the telephone and uh, the radio, <laughs> I think. <laughs> next, the next time you're hosting a radio show, you can say bye-bye at the end. Yes, Like Alberto Alonso always does as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> right? Hasta luego. See you later. See you later. See you later. And people tell me, people say, Kyle, Spanish pronunciation is so, is so much easier than English because we, we pronounce everything in one, one way. Every vowel has one pronunciation in Spanish. And I say, no, 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 that's not true. Because not everyone in Spain says, hasta luego. Right? Right? I hear people, people in my building where I live, they say to me, hasta luego. <laughs> And I say, what? You're, you're supposed to pronounce every vowel, every letter. But you say, you don't say, hasta luego. So it's no wonder. It's not, you know, you shouldn't wonder why Giris, foreigners like me, are confused sometimes. Because maybe the pronunciation technically should be the same, universal. But in reality... You speak very quickly in Spanish, and it's difficult for people like me to understand sometimes. But hasta luego, see you later. Hasta luego, see you later. And how do you say, mucho gusto? How do you do? But this is very formal. Yes. Como esta? How are you? And one of my favorites, well, que tal? How are you doing? How are you doing? It's a bit strange because we say, how are you? But how are you is actually more formal. How are you doing? The more relaxed form, how are you doing, is more casual. But it's longer, an extra word. ¿Cómo van las cosas? How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Ah, how's it going? Very common. How's it going? How are things going? Okay. Muy bien, gracias. Very well, thank you. Very well. Okay. I'm, I'm mentioning a lot of these salutations. So what I recommend you do is, uh, because we don't have much time on this program, I recommend you go into the website, bauganingles.com, and you can listen to this show again and again so you can hear the complete list that I'm giving you, Okay. Because I'm giving you some salutations that are not in your student guide as well. Okay? So go back and listen to it over and over. Pleased to meet you. Encantado. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Glad to meet you. Encantado. Encantado. All the same. Es un placer. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Y gracias. Bueno, claro. Thank you. Thanks. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, or thanks a lot. De nada. You're welcome. Not at all. Don't mention it. Mm. Personally, I don't like not at all. I don't, I don't like this one very much. So, um, you can say it, but I recommend you're welcome. Don't, men don't mention it. Or thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. And finally, perdona. Oiga. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Disculpame. Lo siento. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it's time now for our vocabulary of the day. The five words of vocabulary. The first word, historia. Cuento. Story, story, historia, story. Semana, week, week, one week, two weeks. Bien, bien. Well, well. And be careful, be careful with this, well. Good and well. Well is an adverb. Well is an adverb. It describes a verb. Okay? Good is an adjective. It describes a noun. He's a good player because he plays well. Think, think of this. Um, uh, Ronaldo is a good player 
because he plays well. He is a good player. Describing the noun. Describing the player. Sustantivo. Right? Describing the noun. He is a good player because he plays well. Well describes the verb. Well is the adverb. Okay? He's a good player because he plays well. Repeat that sentence with me. He is a good player because he plays well. If you get used to this, you get accustomed to this, you can avoid making the mistake of confusing good and well. If you master, si llegas a dominar una cosa hoy de esta clase, this is a good thing to master, good and well. He's a good player because he plays well. Ancho, wide, wide, very good. Ventana, ventana is window, very good. Okay, the last thing in the class today is a review of numbers, but we're completely out of time, so we will do numbers, I promise you, in the next class. We will spend some extra time practicing numbers up to one million. So get ready, review, and you can practice with me out loud at home in the next class. We're going to have a commercial break. I'll be back with the intermediate class in about four minutes. See you soon. Bye-bye.